windy day hair painting. Here's what you will need. A paper, cardstock will be pre preferred, paintbrush, straw, and watercolor paint, and some water. Hello boys and girls. I hope you can see uh, what I will be doing. Like I said earlier, we will be doing windy day hair painting. So here is one of the examples of this wacky hair. Do you see that? Does it look like you were outside when the wind was so strong and that your hair just blew everywhere? That's what we're gonna do. So, first thing we need to do is, on our white piece of paper, Mrs. Choi didn't have um, cardstock paper, which will be ideal. So I just am using, I'm just using um, watercolor sketchbook paint uh, paper. And to save time, I already drew one more silly face. So, uh, using paintbrush and water, we did the paintbrush and water, and choose a color that you would like your funky, windy hair to be. This choice using yellow, and just put some paint on the paper. I don't know if you can see it. Um, if I pull it this way a little bit more. So Mrs. Choi has some yellow paint. And you can uh, either put all the paint, different colors on it, on the paper first and then uh, blow, or you can do one color at a time. Uh, this time Mrs. Choi is going to use uh, one color at a time and use a thick straw. It was yellow, so it probably isn't showing really well. I'm gonna wash my paintbrush in a cup of water. And then this time, I'm gonna use green paint and put some on his hair. Since it's the same color, I'm gonna put it in two different spots Do that and then I'm going to start blowing again. Can you see a little bit? Maybe? This time I'm going to use orange. Oh, Mrs. Choi forgot to wash her paintbrush, so I have a little bit of green. You see that? in my orange, but I'm just gonna use it. I'll wash it so I don't forget. And I'm gonna blow it again. Time I will use blue. And put it on this side. And this time I will use a thin straw just to show you uh, what difference it makes if you um, use a thin straw versus thick straw. And I'll carefully lift it so that the paint doesn't drip all over. But this is what it looks like. And you blow it with the straw. Can you see? Isn't it fun? So all these colors, I use the thick straw 
and this one blue at the end I use the thin straw can you tell the difference between using the thin straw and thick straw maybe I don't think he's very happy with his hair doesn't it look silly did you enjoy it so you can make your own silly face um, and then you can draw maybe your mom's face or your dad's face or your um, brother or a sister's face. You can make it silly, happy, or sad, and you can uh, use any color you want. And then um, you can create your own windy day hair. See you later.